Today we're going to replace this outlet and we're going to install an outlet that has a USB-A and USB-C port. Before we start, we need to make sure that the existing outlet doesn't have any electrical problems. We're going to check it with this. We want these two lights to turn on. We don't want any of these codes. Okay, this outlet is good. The next step is to go to the electrical panel. This breaker sends the power to the circuit where I'm gonna be working on. Now it's off. These are the tools that you will need for this installation. Some of them are optional. However, I'm going to list them on the description of the video in case you don't have them and you would like to buy them. Double check, make sure that we don't have any power. Okay, we're good. Remove your cover plate. And just to make sure, again, that we don't have any power, I'm gonna check with this. Make sure that we have no power. Okay, we're good. This is a very simple project that anyone can do. I recommend it 100%. It is very convenient to have an outlet that has a USB-A and USB-C port to charge your devices. The electrical cables are very simple. You will have three cables. One, the black one is the one that has the power. The white one is the neutral and you will have a copper one. This is the round cable. You might have additional cables as you can see here. This outlet sends power to more outlets. The previous electrician did a pigtail. What they do is they put all of the cables together here and they just get three cables that are connected directly to the outlet. So that way you have less cables connected directly to the outlet. The majority of the times they connect the cables using the screws. However, in this case, the previous electrician put it on the back of the outlet but it is very easy to remove them. One thing to keep in mind is that this outlet, it is thicker, it is bigger compared to your regular outlet. If you don't have that much space in your electrical box, you might have a hard time trying to install it. Just keep that in mind because it might be difficult to install it. As you can see, there is a big difference in the thickness. I have a bunch of cables in here, but it seems like I will have enough space to, to install it. There is some drywall mud here that it's already dry. I need to clean it. I need to remove it. Okay, that's enough. Behind the new outlet, you have these screws where you're going to connect your cables. If you pay close attention, you will see these letters. Here it says hat and here white. That means that on this side, you're going to connect the black cable that has the power. And on the other side, you're going to connect the white cable, which is the neutral. And here, this green screw, you're going to connect your ground cable, which is the copper one. If you have more than three cables, you can connect two cables here, two black cables here, two neutral cables here, which are the white ones, and you only need one round cable. I'm going to start with the black cable, which is the one that has the power. And now the white cable, which is the neutral. This goes here. And lastly, the ground cable. Make sure everything is nice and tight. You don't want any loose connections. Make sure to install the cables on the correct spot. This is the head cable, which is a black one, the neutral cable, which is a white one, and the ground cable, which is a copper one. If you have more cables inside of the electrical box, make sure that everything is nice and secure before installing the outlet. Everything seems to be good. Now, optional, you can put electrical black tape around these if you have a metal box. Here, in my case, I have a plastic box, so it's not really necessary. Make sure that everything looks good in there. Before installing the cover plate, I always like to flip the breaker back on just to make sure that everything is nice, everything is connected correctly. Once I'm 100% sure that everything's good, then I like to put the cover plate. 
the breaker is now back on again we want only these two lights to turn on we don't want any of these codes okay this is good this is also good we can now install the power plate okay now let's test the USB A and USB C port I have my iPad here and a cable with USB A to lightning let's see if it charges there you go it's charging which is good now let's try the USB C to lightning it's also charging and there you have it. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.